Hi, in this video, I would like to show you how to work with the uh, images and uh, uh, default library of the SciFidity CMS. Okay, so let us start it. And this one is the dashboard of the SciFidity demo page. And you can see here under the content, I have the images module. You go ahead to click on this to open the default library of the Syfinity. By default, uh, the, when we uh, set up the Syfinity CMS on the Windows PC, it will automatically create the default library for the for the for the instance of the Syfinity. And you uh, under the image this module, you are able to create create multiple library on on this and now i go ahead to create a library here and i name it gnvs and after that i will you upload the image into that uh, library and when when the upload is done so i will uh, open i will create any a new page so on the that page i will select the uh, uh, images component to display in the list of images and when uh when the user click on any new uh, on any on any image of the list so it will open a pop-up to show the detail okay so let's go through this video to see how to do it okay so finally you click on the create a library here it will direct you to another path you will name it it can be it for example you click on a create and go to upload images okay so after that it will direct you to the upload images or uh, back you click on select image from your computer or the symbol drop and drop here and now i go ahead to click on the select image from my computer here and okay so it will direct me to the i will select some image to upload into the sifinity cms here and I'm able to add more images. Open other thing here. Uh, I have the image picture, picture, where picture, where picture, picture. Team. Okay, a lot of images here. Open this. Click on the upload and publish button to publish the image into the library a lot of image have been uploaded and inserted into the Syfinity database You can see here the image. That one is the original image size. So this one is only the demo video. So I will upload any type of the image into the the, the Syfinity backend. But when you're working on a project and you just upload the image into the Syfinity, so I think you you have to consider to upload the big image into the Syfinity because when you upload any big image into the Syfinity and and just keep the original original size so when you display it uh, so when you display it on the front end page it will take many time for loading okay so that means you have to resize the image to some the, the small size and it will display quickly uh, when you're loading a page okay so that's one in my experience when looking on the a lot of project okay so you can click on the view on image here if you open the the the, the, the library you have that created new we have 26 images under the new category and it is stored in the database you see here click on the library name and it will open the the, the, the number image on inside this category okay so now i want to 
I want all of the image here will be displayed on the on the on a, on the best at the library. So how to do it? You click on the best sheet here. You just create a pet. I will name it the uh, image. Uh, image library. You select the default template. Okay, so you can see here on the right hand we have the content. With this, we have emit gallery. Drop it into the content. So you click on the edit button here and you are able to specific and select any specific category you want to be display the image you click on options from selected image library click on two button here to select the category you want to be displaying on the web page click on select done selecting save for sorting images here, you are able to. We have four options here, and just select the default option. Set public. You click on the view button to see. Yeah. You can see here we have a lot of images displaying on the web page. And now go ahead to click on any image here. So after that, it will open the a pop up to display the detail of image. Uh, no. In order to open, uh, to, to set it option to open at a, a either pop up, so we have to setting some, uh, do some setting. Oh, uh, under the back end. Okay, so now when you click on this, it just display the default path of the image. Come back to the image library. All item. You back to the pages and open the image library. And click on the edit. Okay, here so you can see we have some uh, setting. Select image gallery type. You can see here by default it will select the thumbnail and detail page. We have some thumbnail overlay live box. I will select this one. Save it. Publish. Okay, so the name of this page is incorrect, so you can click on this and edit property. Library. Library. Check. Okay, click on view button. Yes, now click on this one. Yeah, it is displaying the detail of image in a overlay pop up. You are able to click on the navigation button here to view the next image or also view. Come back to the previous image. Yes, it has some another format. You click on the image library.
edit mode setting thumbnail at the bottom you can select the size of the thumbnail okay size of the image original save it okay click on the public button here back to the emit library page and refresh this one yes it is displaying small emit at the bottom okay so i think that's all for today and after you finish this video, you know how to work with the images uh, module in the Sifinity. Uh, when you click on the detail of images module, you are able to create a new library. And after that, you are able to upload the uh, uh, the image, a uh, multiple image into the, that library. And when the image is uploaded to the, the to that library you are able to create a new page and uh, and after that you select the library to uh, display it on to display it on the page and on the page you are able to select the the the, the type of, uh, of um, image gallery to display it on the website okay so now i think that's enough and happy coding and see you later